Yo, what is up Smash players? I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to share with you what Nairo does that you do not. And I'm going to do this for a lot of pro players. Let me know which pro player you want me to analyze and find one specific glaring thing actually when you start to look and analyze and talk about it, it becomes glaringly obvious, but otherwise it goes unnoticed. So what Nairo does that you do not is he's the master of shielding right at the edge. And every single time I fight Nairo on quick play, which has been very many sessions, I always notice this that I, I would probably notice his Nairo before I even see his tag if he's using a random tag I would know just from how he shields at the edge and what I mean by this and I'm gonna I'm gonna really point it out to you is that he does things with jokers down tilt Sephiroth's down tilt Mega Man has the same down tilt where they slide right to the edge or even like dash attacks where you slide right to the edge or you get right to the edge and he would turn around and shield and when you turn around and shield right at the edge, why it's so good is because if someone neutral get ups, then they actually end up in front of you. And if they end up in front of you and you're holding shield, you could just grab them and do a, like an awesome shield grab. And it's a lot safer when you're behind them because most characters don't have as good punish game um, from behind them or uh, people are usually afraid of you when you're behind them. So they try to roll uh, into the center stage and stuff. So if you're actually ledge trapping, from the corner, you're really chasing them towards center stage because they only have one way to go. They can't go off the stage, they can only go in the stage. But if you're edge, if you're ledge trapping from the center stage and they're coming from the, the edge, then they can kind of like juke you and you could do a laggy move and then they'll punish you. Um, but in this way, they only have one way to run. I hope that kind of makes sense, but you know what? I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna look at it with you. So here's one game. This is Hakoru and Nairo. And this really, or Hakoru and Nairo, this really shows, I want you to see that sliding F tilt. Okay, another one is a sliding tilt. You know, I said dash tag, I said down tilt of some characters, a sliding forward tilt. He ends up right at the edge and look at what he does. He shields and then he lets go of shield to turn around and shield, okay? I hope you guys just saw that. Okay, I know Hakaru just SDs here, but I want you to look at this again and look, shields, turn around shields to set up for the ledge trap. And I'm gonna show you how he abused this so well and how he also abuses it when your opponent is kind of at the very edge and he neutral get ups. And because he knows that when you neutral get up and someone is already at the edge, he knows that you actually end up in front of them. He'll neutral get up, turn around and grab them, which is only something you do if you really have good knowledge about the edge and how neutral get up works when people are at the edge. So this is just a glaring example of how Nairo just likes to turn around and shield right at the edge. Um, but I'm gonna show you some where he actually gets things off of it or just some gameplay instead of Hakaru just SD. So here's when I ran into Nairo with my new Lucas. Um, so yeah, I was Scar Joe at the time. Now I'm just DK Bill online. Um, I was thinking about making a Lucas guide, but I think, I think I'm gonna leave it. So, you know, already he's he's just going for down tilts at the, at the edge. It's just a good like light trap. But I'm gonna watch this with you. When it happens, I'm really gonna look at it. Um, and you can apply what he does with any character because that's what he does with all his characters. So yeah, we're just going to look at two games where I was fighting Nairo. It was my Lucas. I was doing surprisingly well, but you'll see I couldn't even take a game, which was sad because I was so close to. But you know, I'm pretty happy with how my Lucas was doing. Um... Alright. So yeah, Nairo's obviously just crazy. Like his edge guarding was nuts. Okay, he's going for something crazy there. Um, but I, I promise you'll see, and even just looking at, at the gameplay in general, it's so worthwhile. Sliding F tilt, he's so good with that. And th these matches are quick because he kind of just, wow. I guess he kind of just ru wrecks me sometimes. Alright, that's the first example. You see it? Let's see, okay, and he goes for the, the shield grab, but I was too far. But you'll see right away, he's so good at the turnaround shield. He does it instantly, he tried to react, but I was obviously too far. Now, 
I, I swear I've ran into Nairo on quick play and he did the down tilt turn around shield grab on me like 10 times. Because it also, if you do a neutral or a get up attack from ledge, you actually get pushed in front of them so you can still grab it. Um, so it's just, it's really good. It's really good. Look, he, there, there he goes again. Look, I know it's not working, but trust me, it works, okay? He's so fast with the turnaround shield, and I think next game... Um, I just want to show you this game just to, you know, to, to get the juices flowing in your body so you know what you're looking for. And then the next game, I feel like it really comes into action. Um, Alright, so he just... Alright, let me just see... Okay. Now this game, I think I was about to win and he was just making a crazy comeback. So... Um, yeah, turning around a shield is so good at the corner because, yeah, when, when you go behind someone at the corner, they get scared, they run a center stage, you can just chase them. So here, you know, he did, he, he goes for the dash attack on the sides a lot, just so he could shield at the corner. There, he, he was afraid he didn't have enough time to turn around shield, so he just shielded. But just being at the corner, there's something magical about being at the corner. Um, so I have a pretty good lead here, and trust me, the, the juice... The juice is coming, okay? So don't fret. And... Like, wolf players, they do this thing where they'll dash attack through your shield and then they'll like F smash back or then they'll like run back and like dash attack again or something. Or they'll run into the corner or they'll roll into the corner and then chase you and dash attack you and they'll catch you running away or rolling away. So wolf mains use this too a lot. Um, I mean, just all characters use this a lot. Um, but it's just very important to understand and know that because you can end up with some really safe and powerful ledge trapping. So I think here, you'll see... Look, and this is so beautiful because it also lets him set up for this. Because look, he'll down tilt. He'll down tilt turn around shield, which I'm going to call the Nairo. Okay, turn around shield right, right at the edge. And then boom! He could even do the short hop down here, and I'm sure I could probably do that as Rusu Samus. If, um, except, like, I would have to do a sliding forward tilt. That's probably her best move that pushes her into the corner without too much lag. So, like, there's a lot you can get out of. So even here, I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of incorporate what he's doing. I, I kind of just hold shield there. I do a safe landing there. I did not need to spot dodge. I was just afraid. Like... You see there, I spot dodge for no reason, but he had the read. He had the read. I was gonna spot dodge, so that's sick. And he, as three stocks to one, now he's bringing it back. Um, and I'm gonna try to show you the most beautiful part. Um, I realized his down tilt turn around shield. He didn't get any grabs because you know my spacing was just epic. But um, well, it's almost the grand finale. But I, I hope you guys just see, I hope you guys can believe me because like obviously I could look through a million things of Nairo footage but I've just played him so many times where he just destroys me with down tilt turn around shield and to grab. So if you make it, if you make it your goal, oh my god and this is going to be where it is. If you make it your goal after this video to do some kind of move to the edge and turn around shield, you will, you will learn how to master it and I promise you, look, if Nairo is doing it a shit ton. It's a freaking good thing to do, okay? If you don't trust me because he's not really destroying me with it here, just you have to trust in Nairo, okay? If you don't trust me, trust in Nairo that he knows what he's freaking doing, and you need to implement this in your play if you don't already, especially if you made a character with like a dash attack or like a down tilt or any move that will slide you pretty well to the edge. And you know, everyone has a sliding F tilt, so why not? Now look at this. I am Lucas right here at the very edge. Okay, and I swear to God, no other player would do what Nairo's about to do. Every other player in the freaking world would either get up attack or roll, okay? But look at what Nairo does. He does a neutral get up into turn around, okay? You only do a neutral get up into turn around if you know what the heck you're doing. And look, neutral get up, turn around, grab, jump, back air, wins the game, okay? I promise you, when I was throwing out this down smash right at the edge here, I did not think I had the potential to throw the game, but only Nairo, because what Nairo does that you don't, is he turns around at the edge, whether it's toward the person or away from the person. You see, if I was Lucas, if I was shielding here, I'd want to let go shield, turn around shield, and then let him neutral get up, then grab his neutral get up, because he'd be in front of me. 
But what Nairo does is because I'm busy doing the move, he neutral get ups. He knows because he's the one neutral get upping he, he, that he'll end up in front and he'll turn around and grab. Very common. Let's say you chase someone off stage and you both kind of race back to ledge. What you want to do is if you're the first one back, you neutral get up, hold shield, let the other person grab ledge and neutral get up, and you could just grab them. Or if you're the second one back, you do what Nairo does, and you let the first person come on, neutral get up, shield, then what you do is neutral get up, turn around, grab. So it's kind of like, you know, obviously the person who's there first can react, but if they're not ready because they don't play like Nairo, um, you can be the one who plays like Nairo and catch them off guard. Look at this, I'm at 50%, neutral get up, turn around, Double pummel, back air. And that was me winning, trying to win a game as Lucas off his Sephiroth. You know how much GSP I would have taken? <sighs> he had 100,000 more GSP than I did, pretty much. And then he leaves after that. So guys, you need to know how to neutral get up and how to ledge trap at the edge. You need to master the, the interaction between someone at the edge and someone neutral get upping is such a fundamental thing when it comes to uh, ledge trapping or reverse ledge trapping, which is where you're on the ledge and you come on stage and you kind of actually beat them in their ledge trap or you turn their ledge trap into your ledge trap because they think they're gonna punish you but you get up, turn around, grab and you win the game like you saw Nairo did. So I'm gonna end it there. If you don't believe it, believe in Nairo, implement it yourself, and you will see how it does wonders. I was Lucas, I was floaty, so I was getting just outside his grab range. If you have a tether, it works even better. Or, I mean, it's a, it's a bit of give and take because then you have more lag, but there's tons of things you could do. Again, just being in the corner and your opponent being toward the center, you might think that you're in the disadvantaged position in the corner, and normally you are, but when your opponent is in lag and you're in the corner, it's actually very scary. And what I mean by in lag, let's say if they do a ledge roll, they're kind of in lag, right? Because they're rolling. And if you're in the corner, now they're afraid of you punishing their ledge roll. Or if they neutral get up, they're afraid of you punishing the neutral get up, right? So even though you're in the corner, you have the advantage because you're safe in the corner shielding. And even, again, if they, you know, shield something and because you're attacking from behind, it's a lot harder to punish from behind. I mean, depend, depending on the character, but a lot of characters don't have as easy punishes from behind. I mean, some, some have it easier, but some also don't. Well, I for sure they lose their shield grab, which can be pretty big if you're doing safe arrows and hold shield. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up. Spank that subscribe button. Let me know what pro player you want me to check out. Have a swell evening, and I'll see you next time.